Hi, we're back. And we're going to talk about Recall. Recall is the album that contains the signals that were recorded in the time of this coverage, but released actually up to a few years later. The most recent song released, the most recent release rather, was 975, which is about two years at least after the last album. And the first, very first single was, that's in the, on the record, is Space Lodgy, the UK mono single edit. And there is Space Lodgy, UK mono. Uh, we've got another one here, actually. It's very similar. Sounds the same, of course. And it's got a different centre. For some people, that's important. Uh, certainly plays well in the US, plays better in England. And on the back of it, and also on recall, is the Wild Eyed Boy from Fruit Cloud, the mono single version. You'll notice both of these labels actually say mono, sometimes they don't, but they're still mono. Next track, ramp up the interest level. By the way, Space Lottie is the same as the album cut. It's just a mix, equalised a bit different, and the introduction is shortened a lot. Whereas Wild Up Boy from Free Club is of course a different recording altogether. Just David and Paul Buckmaster. Next up we have the Italian single Ragazzo Solo, Ragazza Sola, which of course is space oddity but with different lyrics and sung in Italian. This is an original Italian single. Uh, the Eagle Eyed Among You will see that that is actually the second issue. The first issue was black, Phillips was at the time changing labels from black to blue in Italy, and here we have the blue one. This actually got an issue on the album called Rare in 1982, though we, I think it was taken from a record rather than tape. Uh, on the record it says stereo, on the um, recall album it also indicates it's stereo, but actually on the single it's actually mono. So, the stereo version has been available before on the, uh, I think it was the 2009 issue of David Bowie, the 69 album, of course. Next up, it says, The Prettiest Star. I don't have it. Sorry. Wish I did. Following that, we've got Memory of Free Festival. So, it's a re-recording of the last track on the 69 album. First appearance of Mick Ronson and the same title on both sides, part one and part two. Part two just being an extended jam, a lot of fun actually. And this is actually the German copy. Uh, the back of it has a lot of photographs of music from that era, 1970. Next on recall it says All the Mad Men, the mono single edit. And here we have it, All the Mad Men. That's the actual promo show on a white label. It was available, it was released with the proper red Mercury label, which we'll see a bit later. Um, but it, it's very, very hard to find. And if you do it, it's pretty expensive. This single actually has the same track on both sides, and it is the version that's included here. It's the studio version, the full album version, just with sections cut out of it. So it's not a new recording or anything like that. Um, on recall, on the back of all the Madden was the track Janine, and that's here in mono. From what I gather, it's actually the same version that's on the album model, just the mono mix of it. Here we have Holy Holy. Now this is what makes recall worthwhile. This 1971 single, and this is an English copy, hasn't been available since 1971. Only released in a few countries at the time. It's made a few bootlegs, but never since. Recorded as a single, and never available since. So that's a really good thing to have on recall. Next it says we've got Arnold Corns, and Arnold Corns was the side project that David Bowie tried out a few tracks from Ziggy, including this one, Moon Age Daydream, and the B-side. Hang on to yourself. Now, Moon Age Daydream was issued, I think, on the Ryko issue of one of the albums. Oh, 
20 years ago, but it was missing the introduction. Whenever you're ready. And then the music starts. It's apparently on recall. So a good, another good reason for recall. Now we move on to the RCA years. Very first track on recall on Science 3 says it changes, the mono single version. And here we have the RCA US single promo mono changes. And of course Bowie signed to RCA in New York and this is the first single. In England the same thing was issued. That's the standard version of course, not the promo. And if you look very closely at the underneath the catalog number, it says the American numbers. And so you can see that England got it from America. And just to see, there is an alternative version without a push out center. On the flip, and included also on recall, is Andy Warhol. And on both the US singles and the English singles, it's the version without the introduction, straight into the song. Next we have Starman, and it says here on recall, it's the original single mix. And I just wonder which one, because there was two. Very fractionally different, the way they were edited. The US and the UK. Now the US and the UK both share the same loud north section in the middle, but they're mixed differently at the front. Now the UK version here in my lifting up was also issued on the UK version of City Stardust, the album. Uh, in fact, the UK never got the album cut, the album mix, they always got the single mix. In the US, you got the single version on the single and the album mix on the album. You notice there are also slightly different pictures too. Nice pics. So I wonder which one it is. Have to wait and see. John and Molly Dancing, original single version. Now this only came out in England. It didn't come out in the US. It did come out in a few other countries, of course. And it was a single. Not part of Ziggy, not part of Aladdin. Standalone single, great single, great promo, great song. Fast, electrifying, and fun. Next up, says the Gene Genie, original single mix. Now, this is something I'm really pleased about because for many years it wasn't available. It's been available on one of the other issue albums, reissue albums, but when David mixed this himself, as it says on the label, it says, produced by David Bowie for Main Man, whereas most of the stuff around this time says produced by Ken Scott and David Bowie, David wanted to get the sound that the Rolling Stones got in those early 60s recordings, those chest sounds. And I think he succeeded. It's much more echoey and sort of got a lot of more reverb in the album cut. It's a great single, good thing to have on recall. And uh, there's the US, same thing. Different flip side, because John O'Malley and Dancing wasn't issued in the US. Next it says here, the end of side three, Drive on Saturday, the German single edit. There it is there. And it's just the album cut with a different fade out at the end. Just faded out earlier. It's really a waste of space, in my opinion. Nice song, but there's a few other tracks I'm going to show you later which didn't make recall. Okay, on the back of Drive on Saturday was Round and Round, and there is the UK Drive on Saturday with Round and Round. Now you can't see that properly very well because I've got a plastic inner on it. But it's a track from the Ziggy Stars recording sessions and it's great. It's been reissued several times over the last few years but never in the original mix. It's been, I think there's been four different mixes issued and this is apparently on recall, the correct mix. So another good reason for recall. And following that, we've got the re-recording of John and Marley Dancing that was made and designed for Aladdin Sane initially, didn't make it, and it's a completely different recording. Again, a single only, came out in 73, no mention made though of it, it was just you bought the old version then one day you bought the new version, and it's on recall. It's 
great to have it on recall. It's a really, really super duper version of John O'Malley dancing. After that, it says we're on Time. Time US Edit. Now, unfortunately, a bit like all the Mad Men, all it is is the album cut chopped up a bit. That's all. Nothing special. And you might be lucky enough to have one of these, a US copy, in a picture sleeve. The picture sleeve looks like a lad insane. Very, very rare. Okay, we're next on to another track from the Ziggy Stardust recording sessions in 1971. And that's the B side of Sorrow from 1973. And it's Amsterdam. And there it is, Amsterdam again. Been issued a few times, um, recorded and designed to go onto the U Stardust, but replaced at the last minute. Last two tracks on recall. Holy, holy, again. Okay, so in 1970 or 70 and 71, Bowie recorded Holy, Holy twice. First the single, either late 1970 or very early 1971, probably late 1970. And then about a year later, and it's much more electric. Nick Ronson's on it, he wasn't on the first one. And by the way, this time it just says Bowie. This actually is a US single, the bag's not US. And it wasn't released in the US, but it was made in the US for the UK. At the time, in the UK, there was a massive shortage, I think it was a three day week, and records weren't getting made. And so lots of things were imported from the USA. And finally on recall, is Velvet Goldmine again from the Ziggy Stardust recording session. And there it was there, issued in 1975 as one of the two flip sides of Space Oddity, which this time around was an even bigger hit than the first time. So Velvet Goldmine, same picture both sides. Uh, this is not great in quality because it's, it's so quietly cut. Having it on recall is really, really good. Now, that's recall. I've got a few tracks here, which are singles, which might have made it a cut. Let's go through them. Space Oddity, the US edit. Very different from the UK edit, in that it's very clear that at the end, he may or may not be coming back, Major Tom. It sort of fades out before it gets to that very last section where he says, look, I'm sliding away and I'm not going to do anything. The B side, Wild Eye Boy from Free Cloud, is also a different edit of the single version. It fades in at the beginning of the second verse. Same, same mono version, but it's, a, it's interesting. I think some people thought for a while it was a different recording and game. Okay, Space Solitude. Popular track, and as you might imagine, there's lots of different edits of the one recording. That master recording goes about 5 minutes and 15 seconds, I think. And on the album, that's what it is, and the single's you know, 10 seconds shorter, the UK single was 45 seconds shorter. Well, this promo single, in 1969, that's the second of the two they made, has a mono version and a stereo version on either side, and they're edited slightly differently too. So we don't have either of those two edits on recall. Though I think one of them made the uh, David Bowie digital EP a few years back. This is the Dutch version of Space Oddity, the 969 single, of course. The flip side, Wild Eye Boy from Freakart, is the complete recording with the introduction. Um, this recording with the introduction was made available back, I think, 2009 on the David Bowie Deluxe 969 album. So that's lovely, it's just not on recall. Okay, Memory of a Free Festival from the United States, both sides, part one and part two are about a minute shorter in both in respects of the single versions. They cut down quite a lot. So again, if we can put time on, or we can put Memory of Free Festival the edit on. I don't think either need to be on though. Hang on to yourself. Okay, the second one called single. Back in 1972, Hang on to yourself was reached as an A side, previously as a B side, with a different track on the other side, Man in the Middle. Man in the Middle features David Bowie on backing vocals. He wrote it, he produced it, great song, but he's not the lead singer, and it's not on this album. Oh, okay, one of my favourites, Gene Genie. There's the US single, the mono stereo version. Now, if they can do mono 
for um, some of the tracks. Why not do it for the Jane Genie? It's a great rocking track. Yeah. I don't think anyone's very serious about putting this on it, but this is the New Zealand Rosalind. It was actually a freebie sent out to members of the RCA Victor Record Club. And it has Ro Rosalind from Pinups, of course, and Where Have the All the Good Times Gone? Interrupted three times on each side by Tim, who tells you you should really be buying this album because it's great. And I'll show you what it looks like. There is the complete fold. And the other side. And if you look closely in this lower section, you tear it off and you send it off to get your free copy of Pinups. <sighs> I think free. No, no, hold on. The full story. Da, da, da. No, you don't get a free copy of Pinups. If you get a special offer of joining. I'm not sure what you get. Anyway, it's a nice little single. Not that I play it anymore. <laughs> Okay, the last song from this era that doesn't make the cut on recall. And there's the English single, and there's the US single. Now they're different, because they're different tracks on them, but both of them have John and Dancing, 1972. Same recording as the original single, but at the introduction at the start, there's a counting. You can hear someone plucking the strings. Nice. But that's not on recall. In fact, I don't think it's on anything else apart from the singles. Okay, so that's recall. Putting that aside now. And I'm going to go to the box and the CD. Okay, so where is my. I'll grab my scissors this time. Okay, so packing, and there it is. There now, if I look at this very carefully, oh, I don't think I'll have to undo it yet. But there we have. big and small of it. And while it's standing there, I'll just grab my scissors again and put them back together, of course, and cut this last long one, which came separately. And it'll be the... Yeah, it's light. It's going to be heavy. It'll be the Radio Show CD. Pinups for Radio Show CD. Okay, so there you have it. Box set. Well done. Not perfect. A few big mistakes, given what it is. I uh, look forward to hearing from hearing it. Um, thanks very much.